What is up guys, Ollie here. Sorry about the echo. I'm still sorting out my office. I've still got a lot of things coming, waiting, a lot of things to do still. I wanted to do a quick video on the LifeX bulbs that they have. I have a bulb, I have a LifeX beam, and I also have a LifeX Z strip. I wanted to show you what you could do with them if you set them up in a home automation system, their app, and show you how they work. So I think the first one I should probably show you guys is the LifeX bulb. You can get them in different mounts. This is the bayonet mount. You can also get them in a screw mount. So depending on how your lighting system is set up, you can make sure that you get the right one. As you can see, this is a bayonet mount. It's got quite a bit of weight to it actually, surprisingly quite a bit of weight. The bulb itself is pretty minimal looking. It's not anything too special, which is good. I think that's a good thing. It should be quite clean and quite minimal looking. You don't want it to stick out. On the top is where obviously the light comes out and you can change it to all sorts of different colors. It's very, very easy to set up. Doesn't take much to set up at all. You just connect to it directly from your phone via Wi-Fi, and then your phone will direct you to connect it to your Wi-Fi network. And then you can control it within the app. So you can see here, this part of my office is really, really plain. I need to get some stuff on the wall. I'm also waiting for a chair to come in, an armchair. An armchair will go in that corner. And my plan was to put the LifeX beam on the wall. So behind the armchair, Maybe put a side table there or something, put some frames up and had the LifeX beam stuck to the wall. So we'll first start with the LifeX beam. This is a fairly new product. Uh, the box is here. Comes in a really nice box actually. You can see how LifeX envision it being. You can have, the, have it in a sort of right angle. Here is the little sort of module that, they, that you can use to make it in a right angle. You can even have it in a T if you like. You can have one coming that way, coming out the top and then one coming out the side really easy to set up you can see all the different shapes actually that i was just describing all the different shapes that you could have set up so here it is actually connected into my socket um, you can see i've connected them up they're actually connected via magnets so this is really really easy it's just connected by magnets so you can change them around move them around however you want and they lock into place very easily. I've only connected up four bars because obviously I just want to be able to keep it in the in this space. Um, I do have two extra bars here, which I will connect up at some point. Um, but I just wanted to show you basically how it would work with four bars. So if I load the app, you can see that the LifeX Beam is off. When I turn it on, you can see that it comes on. You can also, of course, change the color. So I could change it to whatever color I wanted. I've currently got it only on 10% brightness because when it's at 100%, it is pretty bright. Even in daytime, like I'm recording this in the daytime um, and even at 100% brightness, it is pretty damn bright. Um, I feel like it comes way overexposed on the camera. But yeah, you can have it very, very bright. I'll put it back down again, just so that it's not blinding. And of course, it's really easy to change color and stuff. You can also have different effects and stuff. You can have sunset and sunrise schedule if you want to. So you can have it turn on at specific times and turn off at whatever time you like as well. Really easy to set up. So one of my favorite features of the LifeX Beam is that you can have multiple colors go along in a wave, which is really cool. I think it looks great for parties. It looks great for when you have friends around. It's just a great little ornament sort of just to add some spice to your to your lighting situation pretty much. It's pretty awesome. There's also a lot of other things you can do with the LifeX Beam. Um, there's a lot of sort of other effects that you can mess around with, like candle flicker, color cycle, and all this other stuff. There's also a music visualizer. There's just a lot you can do with it pretty much. So that is the Beam. Let's move on to the LifeX Z strip. So the version of the strip that I got is actually just before they implemented Apple HomeKit. So the Beam has Apple HomeKit, and the bulb has Apple HomeKit, but unfortunately my LifeX strip doesn't. Um, but if you buy from now, you will get Apple HomeKit integration if that's what you're looking for. The Apple HomeKit integration initially is in these little modules that you see here. So the module for the beam is just the upgraded one and the for the strip, it's the older version, that's all. But it's not too much of an issue for me because you can use IFT setups if you like. So when you turn on one light, it turns on the other. So if you're using Siri to activate your lights, you can do that. And with the LifeX Strip, uh, same system pretty much. So I have it named as LifeX Strip and you can see it turns on and there are a bunch of LEDs in the strip. Obviously, 
it doesn't look great when it's just like this when it's open and exposed so i definitely recommend say putting it behind a desk or putting it behind a sofa or just hidden away somewhere so you can't actually see the individual leds and of course we can go into the app and we can mess around with it all so if we change over we can have it whatever color you want i've also got this on 10 percent brightness i think no 12 percent brightness because obviously I just don't want it to be blinding. The LifeX app is great for controlling your lights and stuff. You know, you can group them all together. You can also integrate them with other stuff. But if you're like me and you want to set it up with Apple HomeKit, you can do that too. So you can control it with Siri. You can also control it with other things like Alexa and, and Google Home and things like that. You can also have it so that it's triggered with Ift. There's a lot of customization available with LifeX. You don't have to stick to their proprietary sort of system to get going. So now I've got my bulb installed. I've also got the LifeX beam down there and I've got the LifeX Z strip. But as I mentioned, the LifeX Z strip does not have Apple HomeKit. So when I control it with Siri, it won't be controlled, unfortunately. But there is a workaround, you know, you can set it up with Ift so that when one light comes on, another light comes on as well. So, so yeah, there is a little bit of a workaround, but for anyone who buys the LifeX Z Strip now, you are going to get Apple HomeKit. I just have an older version, that's all. So yeah, now that they're all installed and up and running, I can do things like, hey Siri, turn the office lights on. Okay. And you can see how quick that is. I can also do things like change the brightness and change the color. So I could be like, hey Siri, turn the office lights to blue. Blue coming right up. Hey Siri, turn the office lights to white. Okay, white. And as you can see, it's really easy to control really fast. I'm, I'm honestly shocked at how fast it actually controls all the lights. But as you can imagine, if you had a lot of these lights, you had a lot of lights set up everywhere. You also had um, the spotlights as well installed. You could basically control all your lights by voice. You can even do things like when there's a motion sensor that the lights turn on. There's just a lot of versatility in getting it all running. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm always sharing house updates and stuff. So yeah, make sure to check that out. And again, thanks for watching.